magnetic thrombectomy is one of the major advances which are happen in treatment of acute stroke whenever stroke happens because there is a lack of blood supply to the part of the brain and the blood vessel is blocked off now studies have shown when the blood vessels get blocked off then some cells die immediately but some part of the brain it gets enough blood flow to survive but not enough to work that means there is lot of part of the brain which is not yet dead and studies have shown if you open up the blood vessel restore the blood supply in that phase then this part can be revived and can function again but if you keep waiting in some hours or in a day all these parts are they die so this part of the brain which we can revive is known as the penumbra zone and in emergency nowadays we know when we try to open up the blood vessel to restore the supply to save this penumbra zone previously tpa which is a thrombolytic agent a clot busting agent was injecting through the veins to open up this blood vessel the problem with tpa was that whenever there is a major vessel blocked off there is a lot of clot it doesn't really work very little drug reaches through that area to open up the blood vessel and anyway one cannot inject tpa after 4.5 hours of stroke so the neuro intervention method came in that means we go through the leg blood vessel we go into the brain blood vessel and we use a devices such as stent retriever or aspiration devices to take out that clot which is blocking the major blood vessel of the brain which can restore the blood flow to the brain and lot of part of the brain which was not functioning and still revivable and that start working again and that helps in a very rapid improvement of this patient now studies have shown that best chance the best treatment of the stroke is in this emergency phase when there's a major vessel blocked off we do a mechanical thrombectomy and that leads to long term much better outcomes than any other method